they withdrew her from the re- their register. The husband and the wife are now back in Nigeria. And it's a win-win situation for them both. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is... Mafia. This, this is a classic example of do me, I do you. In the hair. Hello guys, welcome to another episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a tweet. (laughs) Or, Charlie, if it's no longer Twitter, is this still a tweet? Me, I'm confused. There's something there. The reason why Elon Musk changed from Twitter to X, which is completely ununderstandable, might be that his ex might have done something very terrible to him and he wants to remind himself always. <laughs> and today someone yeah. turned into an ex. An ex. On ex. On ex. Bars, man. And we are going to ex the exes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we want to thank you so, so much for the subscriptions, for the views, sharing the channel all across um, the social media platforms. Like, we are so grateful very great so, so it's, like it's, the numbers we are doing at the moment charlie charlie it's, it's massive mind blowing it's massive and we really appreciate everyone we we are so grateful we can't thank you enough we hope and we pray that you continue to support us yeah as you're doing now mm-hmm. please tell others about fnf catchy dialogues we are going to promise you that we'll bring you premium content only yeah every other day yeah yeah that's the plan top top content yeah Right, so guys... When we get angry, we'll bring it every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you. Thank you so, so much again. If it's your first time, please do well to subscribe and press... If it's your first time, please do well to subscribe and click on the notification icon so that as soon as content drops, yeah. you'll be the first to get it. Yeah. And to our returning subscribers, we can't thank you enough. We thank you so, so much. We appreciate you. Let's get into business. Let's go. <laughs> so, should yep. I read? Go on. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. So, this is a tweet from someone called Oladili. Yeah. He's a Nigerian. Shout out to our people from Nigeria. We we love you guys so much. Just says something that happened to a certain UK nurse. I don't even know what to say to it than to tell both of them Congratulations <laughs> for being unfortunate. <laughs> How do you congratulate someone for being unfortunate? <laughs> you can imagine what is coming next. Hmm. The husband beats the wife. After a heated argument, wife went ahead and called the police and reported him. <laughs> Which is typical here. Yeah, like, absolutely. In, in the UK, it's, it's crazy. Please. If yeah. In the UK, do domestic violence is yeah. the top tier like like something yeah. that they are very particular about she also called home office so the home office is like the the immigration um controls unit here they regulate everything with regards to migration to the uk and out of the uk and all that so she called the home office to remove the husband from her cos so those who don't know cos cos is like um it's a kind of license that gives employers yeah. here the ability to be able to get you over to the UK. Yeah. So with the COS, we stand for Certificate of Sponsorship, you can come over to the UK. That's what you apply for your visa with. And once that is expired, your visa expires as well. So the husband came as a dependent on her Certificate of Sponsorship into back at her visa. Then the husband <laughs> in turn went to report her to the Nursing and midwifery council in the UK that her IELT results, the IELT result is the English language exam that shows that you are proficient to work in the UK. The husband went to report her that the IELT results was fake. The <laughs> nursing and midwifery council commenced an investigation and found her guilty. They withdrew her from the re- their register. The husband and the wife are now back in Nigeria. And it's a win-win situation for them both. No, <laughs> guy. <laughs> hey, 
no, this is Ma, this yeah. this is a classic example of do me I do you. Seriously. Seriously. No, it's what, crazy. What, what would you have done? <laughs> if you were the um, the sorry, husband. if you were the husband. No, but to to go to the extent of um reporting your wife so that they cancel the IELTS exam. Do you know when when you guys patch up after the argument or whatever ha- has happened? Let's say you the, you the man go back to Nigeria and you mend things up. She might be able to get you back to the UK through some means which I don't know because if you are married, though there's domestic violence, once she she likes you, she can still get you over. But having to report her that she's cheated, it blocks her chance from going to any other country because you know these countries have this um intercontinental or international sharing of data yeah. stuff if i'm the husband I'll, I'll just let go because in the first place the husband wronged the lady i don't know if the, the exactly we the don't reason know to which the the extent to which the yeah husband what was the cause her. for, for yeah. what was the cause for the beating so beating her in the first place is not something that we subscribe to not something that we encourage no man should be the wife irrespective of the reason absolutely you understand so beating her you have wronged no matter what she did that provoked you so she has the right to report you to she should have just reported to the police not get her get him off her visa no but no and the thing is now i feel like now the nmc uk is now going to properly scrutinize she, the existing she, she, nurses blocked, on the register. They've, they've blocked the chances of those coming and those in the UK already. It's become very difficult for them because they'll be scrutinizing things now. And who knows, there'll be people who, who are probably not corporate, but they'll just waste your time through investigations. Exactly. So once, once they the psychological think, stress. Once they think you look like someone who, who you cheats. Know, who looks <laughs> no you like this. Guys, do I look like someone who cheats? Of course. <laughs> Me, I've already established that my mother is a church leader. So cheating and all those. No. By their fruit, you shall know them. <laughs> Which fruit? Banana or orange? <laughs> no, but, but seriously though, I just... I feel like, you know, relationships in the UK is not like back home. No. In no. Africa, in Ghana, no. Nigeria and all no. that. Things work completely different Very here. different. Very different. Yeah. Here, I've met people, like some of our white colleagues, white friends, and then the likes that are in their seventh marriages. And it's it's quite normal. Yeah. Divorce here is normal. That I don't, I, I wouldn't say that morality is they they disregard morality or they disregard certain rules of life or but things are very liberal nobody wants stress here no yeah. absolutely once the man messes up the wife just goes to court you are, you are divorced go your way i go my way that is it yeah but when we come here sometimes the men want to be men and the women want to be women but when the ladies come here they become very different it's, they adopt I, I the think, life here. I think it's something we need to talk about. Yeah, extensively. We'll take a whole episode to Marriage discuss and relationships how, here. How the women change when they get here. Do you know, it's the queen's land. Now it's the king. But they have a lot of respect. And there's the, the woman rules. That is what I can say. The woman rules. What the woman says is taking a supreme. So you, you can't mess around if you're a man. They respect men. Men's values are held in high esteem. Yep. But you, you can't mess around with a woman. Beating a woman is, is a not. Yeah, it's a big no. We frown upon Domestic that. Domestic violence. It's, it's, it's something it's that... It's never the option. No. But no. I also feel like um, we, we probably then really need to consider choosing who we decide to be with for life. Oh, yeah. Because if you can hit a woman... That's... And, and if the woman can go ahead knowing that you have traveled into UK to change your family's destiny who and decide about, to terminate. Who cares about destiny? Who cares about destiny? Yeah. yeah I'm so. saying e. <laughs> So, guys, we will read some of the comments under this thread and I'll read the first one. Someone says, in sports, this is called 
home and a withdraw. <laughs> No, like <laughs> both teams to score. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this one this one this one says their love for each other is overwhelming for themselves. <laughs> From physical abuse to forgery. <laughs> From physical abuse to forgery and back to where they started from Nigeria. <laughs> ba- back to your roots. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and one one year, <laughs> one year says that. For those who don't understand pigeon, this is written in pigeon. Said, yeah. husband no gree, wife no gree. They both take this year's logo so serious. Well, if they are back, welcome. Welcome. If they are in their village, they better start farming because hunger goes so dull with them both. <laughs> No, but but seriously though, I I feel like mm-hmm. um, this is a very serious issue, mm-hmm. and we probably don't talk about it enough. But the way marriages and relationships work in the UK is something that really needs to be discussed do you, do you by know, both parties. Back home, back yeah. home, the man is the breadwinner. Yeah. Even if the wife works, the man tries to be a man. Here. The wife brings, the, the husband brings. The, a wife can work more than a man. Here we have house, the way we have housewives back home, they have house husbands. Yeah. A wife can decide to tell the husband, stay at home, I'll work and bring all the money. You understand? Take care so of the kids. You, you can't treat her as a second class citizen. In no. the morning, you wear your shorts no. and your t shirt. There are wives that stay home. <laughs> and Do you know, it's, it's, it's balanced here, but the issues of money. It's very complicated. Most people from um, back in Africa that come here and they have issues with their marriage and all that is because of money. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, some of our women, when they come from back home to the UK, they stay here for a while. They mingle with those ladies who have been here for some time and they influence them negatively. Yeah. We, we hear stories of ladies that have left their husband's home and they have boyfriends here. They have men they are sleeping with just because they can't afford bills so a whole lot of things happen but irrespective of that if your husband here you can't hit your wife yeah even back home it should be something that you frown upon you shouldn't hit a woman irrespective of the the reason that caused the the provocation you shouldn't yeah yeah. well i mean at the end of the day i feel like both of them should have taken it easy yeah but the harm's been done already Anyways, yeah, guys, that's that's what we've got for you today. Yeah. If you enjoy this, you enjoy this video, please like, yeah. subscribe, and put your comments in the comment section. Put let's know your thoughts. Yeah, exactly. If you were the man, what would you do? And if you were the woman, would you have done something different? Let's know in the comment section. Yeah, right. Okay. So guys, I think we'll end today's episode here. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next video. Next this thing. is and will always be your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. Till we meet again, peace out. Bless up. <laughs>